everyone, it's Lisa with Lee Lee's Design. Today, I'm going to show you how to make these denim shorts for your American Girl doll from an old pair of jeans. Before you cut your material, I want to tell you a few ways you can do the hem of the shorts. The first would be to use the free hem from your used jeans. What's nice is it's professionally done and it's less work you have to do. What you'll do is turn this inside out Grab your padded, and you'll notice there's a hemline at the bottom. We don't need a hemline, so we're going to fold it. Now we're going to line the bottom pattern with the hem of the pants and trace it out. The next choice would be, place your pattern on the fabric and cut it with the hem. And then we'll fold over a half an inch, pin it, and then we'll take it to the sewing machine and sew out our decorative stitch or our straight stitch. And the third choice would be to just use a scrap piece of material, fold it over a half an inch, pin it, take it to the sewing machine, and sew our decorative stitch on. And then we'll just flip this over, fold over on the hemline again, and trace it out. You want to do the hem for the front and back of the shorts. And if you're wondering why I'm doing the hem now, it's easy to add the decorative stitch now rather than later. And deciding on which decorative stitch you can use, I find it best grab some scrap material and try out the different stitches you have on your machine till you find the one you like. Now finish cutting your material and we'll start off with the front of the shorts. We'll place right sides together and we're going to pin it along the center seam. Then we'll take it to the sewing machine and sew a quarter inch from the edge. All right, now we're gonna open it up. We're gonna grab our pocket facing, place it on top, pin it, and then we'll take it to the sewing machine and sew a quarter inch from the edge. Once you got it sewn out, we're going to go ahead and turn it inside out. And if you have a hard time with getting the corners out, grab an old paintbrush end and push it through. And then press the edges down with your hand. And now we want to switch our stitches on our machine to a decorative stitch of your choice. And we're going to sew a quarter inch from the edge all the way around. This is going to give the stitches for the pockets. Now that you have your decorative stitch along your pocket, we're going to flip it over and we'll grab the front of our pocket, flip it over so that way we have right sides together and we're going to align the pocket facing to the front of the pocket. See how the curve matches up? We'll lift those two layers up and we'll pin it. So you just want to pin the pocket facing to the front of the pocket. Do not pin it to the shorts. And we're going to push those shorts back so that when we take it to the sewing machine, we don't get our stitches caught in there. And we're going to sew a quarter inch from the edge all along here and stop there. Be sure to set your machine back to the straight stitch. When you get that sewed together, check your stitches that you didn't get your cord in the shorts. If it's not, flip it over. And we're going to grab one piece of our back of our shorts and we're going to match up the hem. And then we're going to match up the side seams. And the flap should be in the center. Pin it. And then we'll grab the other back of the shorts line up the bottom hem again and the side seams. Pin it. Now we'll take it to the sewing machine and sew a quarter inch from the edge. We'll do this on the right side and we'll do it on the left side as well. Now that you got the sides attached, we'll open it up and we're going to place two flaps together. 
pin it and we'll sew a quarter inch starting right here where I marked the circle and go all the way down to the end. Next we'll open it up and we're going to grab the back and then we'll grab the front and line them up together. Pin it and then we're going to sew a quarter inch from the edge straight across. Once you got that sewn out, take the flap that's on the inside and pin it. You want to grab your waistband and I already pressed mine off camera. What you'll do is fold over a half and then fold over the other half and meet in the middle. Press it, use some water, use some steam and press it down and then flip it over and press it again. Take it to the waist and we'll leave about a half an inch hanging. Open it up and we're going to line it up with the shorts. And then we're going to pin right where that crease is. And the reason I'm pinning there is that's where we're going to sew, right in that crease. Now that you have it pinned all the way around, We'll go ahead and take it to the sewing machine and we'll start right where the crease is and go all the way around. Alright, once you got the waist attached, we're going to turn it inside out. And in the back, the flap that is not folded over, we're going to cut straight across on the top of the waistband. All right, now we're just going to fold over. We want to make sure that our crease is right there. Pin all the way around. When you get to the end where the flap is, we're going to fold over this flap and we're going to pin it. Take it to the sewing machine and we'll sew a quarter inch from the top edge and then go ahead and sew a quarter inch from the bottom edge. Now that you have your top stitch and bottom stitch on your waistband, we'll flip it over and on the open end flap we are going to put an overcast stitch. So take it to the sewing machine and sew right there and down a little bit at the end of this flap. Once you have the overcast and down on your flap, you want to grab a piece of velcro and place it on top of that flap, then take it to the sewing machine and attach it. And then we will attach the Velcro on the other side of the flap. And that's it. We are done. Congratulations, everyone. Alrighty, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to hit the like button. And if you'd like to see more of my videos, you want to hit the subscribe button along with the bell. So this way you'll be notified when my next video comes out. Thank you so much. Have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye.